Dracarys. Dude, what? What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, before we get into it, I just want to say, if you guys have been enjoying this channel, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and smash the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. The support has been amazing, and I really appreciate it. So House of the Dragon just dropped episode 5 last night, and this thing was crazy. I mean, is it even Game of Thrones without a wedding gone wrong? I mean, come on. This thing was insane. The pieces are starting to move. You can see the division among the houses coming into play. But just like every week, I've been doing these reactions to the next episode's preview. So we've got the episode six preview next week's episode that I'm going to react to. Let's check it out. We should address the latest developments in the Stepstones, my lords. Where, I wonder, is our Prince Damon? It was a decade ago and he has since left the region undefended. We have left it undefended. New cast. The new cast. Our children, but a weakness. Through them, you imagine you will persist forever. Dude. You will be our king. Aegon? We are the blood of old Valeria. But for them, you surrender what you should not. Dude. Her father, compromised by the acts of her son. To have one child like that is a mistake. To have three is an insult. People Bro. have eyes. Consequences of an allegation like the one you twirled. How is this dude still alive, bro? Dracarys. Dude, what? I don't even know who everybody was. Yo, I, I need to rewatch this because I don't even know who every single character was. Obviously, they'll explain it because this is what, like 10 years or so at least um, into the future. So we see they got the new cast uh, for Rhaenyra and Alicent. It looks like Aegon's older and there's some new kids. I don't even know who they are, but we're obviously we'll obviously we're going to find out next episode. So this is things are heating up. We got the dragons. We got a young dragon. The eggs are hatching. This is getting crazy. If it's anything like the Game of Thrones series, as we get towards the finale, the last, you know, episode eight, episode nine, episode 10 are typically crazy. Like they start going all out around episode eight or so. Not that the show hasn't done that already, but obviously with this being a new series, you can tell they've been building. They've been developing the characters, showing you the different houses. This looks like it's really starting to pick up and it's going to dive into some of the, you know, start going towards that Targaryen civil war. People are starting to pick sides. Is Aegon taking over? Is Rhaenyra taking over? What's going to happen? How divided are the Seven Kingdoms going to be? How many different houses are going to get involved? Are we going to see the Starks? We've seen the Lannisters, but are we going to see Starks and some of these other houses start picking sides and like really getting the full Seven Kingdoms involved in this? Or are we just going to see it stick to mostly the Valyrians and the Targaryens and just like that? I guess the Targaryen Civil War. Who knows what's going to happen? I just know it's picking up. It's getting crazy. Things are getting wild. This last episode with the wedding, the royal wedding was insane. I love that episode. Definitely didn't see that coming. I liked how they tried to make it look like Damon was going to be the one involved in in the fight and what was going on, but it wasn't. Not sure how the king is still alive because that dude was about to die in this episode. And now this is like, what, 10 years later and he's still kicking. So how long is this dude gonna how long is he gonna last we'll see but anyway let me know what you guys think as always thanks for tuning in appreciate it like i said if you haven't already don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell thanks for tuning in and until next time peace